I'm using a Gearmo Mini USB RS-485 adapter from Amazon. Pin 1 is A+, plus and pin 2 is B-. minus. On the VFD, A+, plus goes to SP, and B- minus goes to SN. First, we want to very quickly verify the parameters on the VFD. So we connect to VFD, go to parameters, and in group C, uh, make sure communication selection is set to Modbus RTU, which is the default. Uh, communication speed set to the baud rate uh, you want to connect. Uh, the Modbus address, uh, if you only have one device, one is fine, and the left rest of those you can leave. Then in group A, make sure that we set our frequency source to Modbus network and run source to Modbus network. Right click, download all PC to device, and when it prompts you, select yes to save to EEPROM. In mock, we need to make sure that in ports and pins that Modbus is enabled and Modbus plugin is enabled. And then we'll need to restart mock. Now we can go to function configs, set up serial Modbus control. And if you have the plugin successfully enabled, you'll see this screen. Uh, set the serial port number that our adapter is on, serial port 3 for me. Uh, the baud rate, make sure that this is the same that we set the VFD to, and make sure that you have the timeout set above 30 milliseconds. Our first setting will be our run stop. Let's refresh to 25, it is address 0, output coils. Config 2 will be our frequency. Also set to 25 milliseconds. That's address one. That's output holding. Our third will be our trip status. 25, address three. And that is input holding. Enable all three of the Modbus inputs. Check Modbus run and click apply. If all is successful, you'll see no error. Now we need to create the brain. Operator brain editor. First input is the DRO. DRO number 99. RPM ratio. Add a formula. Our ratio is A times 40,000. In this case, this is a 400 hertz spindle, and the VFD has a 0.01 resolution on this setting. Terminate that to Modbus output. Serial plugin configuration zero. Our next is the output. In this case, I have my spindle run set to output one. This also needs a formula A times six five two eighty. Terminate that to Modbus serial plugin config 1. And our final setting is a Modbus source serial plugin config 2. Compare immediate equal to 2. Terminate to a mock input and we will trigger the e-stop anytime that the VFD trips. Save the brain. WJ200. Go to operator brain control. Reload all. Find your new brain. And enable it. Now your spindle control is active. All you have to make sure is that your spindle pulley setting maximum speed is set to the maximum speed for your spindle. In this case, it's a 24,000 RPM spindle. So when I set my spindle speed at 24,000 RPM, it will send 
400 hertz because of the formula that the brain is configured with.